storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. I can't even do it. Fuck. Chloe, you better be glad my voice gone. Chloe, you get your hot little young ass into my office, and I'm happy that you're over the age of 18, so I can actually say that. Chloe Bailey, we are calling you into my office today because um, apparently you a team too much. Um, I'm also diagnosing you with doing too much on stage and trying to be like your queen mother, Beyonce, and not enough like Chloe, all right? You got a fuck-ass team that's dressing you like Beyonce circa 2002, 2004, 2006. Same dancing, same dragon on the floor, but I'm here to let you know, Chloe. Chloe, that it ain't ever given what Beyonce gave. I'm going to give you the same advice that Irv Gotti told Ashanti when Ashanti was rolling on the floor. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when Ashanti went on Queen Latifah show and was rolling, rolling? Polo Ashanti been trying to dance for the last 15 years and it ain't worked. And like Irv Gotti told her, now Irv Gotti used to hit that pussy from the back. But he was hitting that pussy from the back. Ball slapping up against her ass. He would let her know. That you cannot outdance Beyonce, and I'm here to let you know, Chloe, that you would not be able to outdo Beyonce. Be Chloe, be the best Chloe, find Chloe. All right, so I'm just here to let you know that I have to just diagnose you with being team too much. Also, uh, we see that you have been hanging out with the rapper Gunner, and we're here to just protect you, Chloe. It's too young for you to have all these bodies on you. Yes, you can go out, yes, you can date, and I know you ain't shaking that ass all over that camera for nothing. I know you ain't dropping down in splits. I show damn sure don't expect you to be no virgin. You know, you used to date Diggy Simmons, and I know he. Was dig I know Diggy was digging you out. It's all it's a part of life. It ain't nothing to be shamed of, okay? But we don't want you just going from man being single, man to man and man to man, and they attaching all these men to you. It's very easy to get the title of industry hoe very quickly, Chloe. And we don't want that, even though I low key feel like Hallie probably into some more shit than you. Oh, Hallie over there with Disney, so you gotta suck dick and eat pussy to be over there anyway. If you go to Disney, you're gonna get fucked. You're going to get fucked in the church and impregnated by your producer and then have the baby, Jamie Lynn Spears, <clears throat> allegedly. You're going to be drug addicted. Disney is pretty much the devil, but y'all ain't heard that from me. <laughs> but your mentor is Beyonce, so you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're protected, all right? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, with that being said, Chloe, since you have been doing team too much, I am going to write you a script for a whole new team. I do not want you using Beyonce's dancers or choreographers or none of that. I want you to hire a whole new team. As a matter of fact, I want to bring in Lori Ann Gibson to teach you how to boom, cat, cat. Is Lori Ann still boom, cat, cacking? I don't know, but I'm going to send her in to help you out because you need that. Your vocals are on point, so it ain't nothing for me to say about that. But you need a whole new management team as well. Beyonce can, can, you know, she can help you from the background, but she's putting too much of her into you. And since you really don't have nobody else to look to, you're just emulating her constantly again and again and again and again. And the people are already tired of it. And here's the thing, Chloe. Yes, back in the day, Beyonce did imitate the Tina Turners and the Janet Jacksons, but we didn't have social media like that. We didn't have as many choices back then now Chloe, we can click and turn you off quick and you know we know y'all ain't even making no money off that music like that anyway so i just i don't want you to be out of here in one or two albums all right i don't want you to have to go over to nigeria and get dipped in that water so you can come back and, and get stardom and fame like the other people do i don't want to have to put you in the river Chloe, you know what river I'm talking about. Anyway, anyway, with that being said, um, if you are hanging out with Gunner and if you are giving him that tight little twat, it's all good with us, but we are going to send you a prescription for birth control because we cannot have you fucking up the bag. You are the prize winner, and I just want to save you from having a, having to have any unwanted abortions. This industry will make you scrape your baby out if um if they don't want you to have it. Just know that I mean hell, you admit. Many people around you have had to do it, Chloe. It is industry standard, Chloe. And I don't want you caught up in that, Chloe. And just know, Chloe, when you run all the women and they having all the fertility problems, it's because they didn't kill about 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 11 of their children. If you think I'm lying, just go on TikTok. Them hoes uh, abort them rappers' babies all the time. They pay uh, The going rate for an abortion right now is 30 to 50K. 
you get pregnant by a rapper and he'll pay you 50k if you abort it it's just what it is it is a bit i don't want you in that chloe i want you focus on your career and your goals and i don't want you getting locked down in the industry marriage like your mentor because you really think beyonce wanted to be with jay-z y'all keep saying she did and i remember that interview beyonce did in the 2001 with mtv when she said that she does not care about looks you only have to be taller than her and intelligent and jay-z is a big tall ugly motherfucker but hear me out you cannot tell me that when Beyonce look in Jay-Z's eyes, she is attracted to him. She might be attracted to his brain. What come out of that mouth will come out of camel toe pussy lips. But she is not attracted to that. You cannot tell me she was listen, I'm not even gonna go there. Chloe, I don't want you getting caught up like that. I don't want you stuck with a handler. I don't want you stuck with a man like your mentor that, you know, slapped her around and punched her around a couple of times because Jay-Z used to knock out hoes back in the day, Chloe. I'm letting you know this industry is rough like that. You 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 your star rising high and a nigga will knock you aside your head to try to knock your self-esteem down. It happened to Kelly too. But let me tell you about Beyonce when Jay-Z was whooping up on her ass a few times until Matthew with one T had to step in and say, stop smacking my daughter around before I kill you because he is a pimp ass nigga. Anyway, Anyway, with that being said, we ain't even gonna talk about all the times Jay Z cheated on her. We ain't gonna talk about how Jay Z allegedly got Foxy Brown pregnant at 16 and gave a syphilis allegedly. We ain't even gonna talk about the fact that Beyonce allegedly fucked Sean Paul and allegedly fucked Marcus Houston and allegedly had a three way with Jay Z and R. Kelly. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. We ain't gonna talk about all that. I want you to avoid all that, but you're gonna get in some sex code. You're gonna do a few sexual rituals. Chloe, you will do it. I just want you to at least have a little choice in it and not be in it with no gunner because, you know, fucking gunner ain't going to get you nowhere. I'm just letting you know. All right? So you take my script for birth control, a new team, new choreography, and new management, and you get out of my office. You have a good day, Chloe. Do you want to learn more about the Illuminati? Have you always been interested in figuring out why your favorite or maybe even your non-favorite celebrity is always throwing up certain symbols like that? that that or even that or that or this have you have you been trying to figure out why well then guess what my patreon is the place for you so simply go to patreon.com slash storm monroe or go to my youtube channel type in storm monroe and on the very home a very first home page hit that little join button and you will be a member. And once you are a member of the channel, you get the same benefits that the Patreon does and you will get access to my conspiracy comment. Patreon.com slash Storm Monroe or YouTube.com slash Storm Monroe and hit join and you will be on your way to your conspiracy field. Uh, it's Storm Show. Ay, it's Storm Show.